This is the recipe for gyro plain fudge. Okay, just like baby boy said, we're doing gyro plain fudge. All right, my little helper here is going to help me so that I can uh, record a little easier. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, and in the bowl here, we already have measured out our one cup of cocoa powder and one cup of supposed to be powdered truvia. I'm just going to tell you what I do, how I make it. And then at the bottom in the description, I'll put the gyro plain recipe from him. <laughs> okay. A cup of cocoa powder, unsweetened cocoa powder, and a cup of Splenda is what I have in the bowl already. And now he's going to add to that a couple dashes of sea salt. All right, and a half cup of coconut oil. Two tablespoons of vanilla. Okay, now he's just going to take the electric mixer and kind of stir it up a little bit before he turns it on. That way it doesn't fly all over the place. Sometimes the cocoa will kind of fly all over the place. So then he's going to turn it on and mix it up with the electric mixer. It's a little bit thicker than the chocolate delight, but it's very similar. The recipe is very similar. Okay, that's what you end up with right now. Looks like mud, doesn't it? Now we're going to add the peanut butter. Smucker's Natural. Smucker's Natural Creamy Peanut Butter. It's a 16 ounce jar. It calls for two cups. I just add the whole jar. Okay, we get all the peanut butter in there and Mix it up. Mix it in real good. Okay. Then, after it's all mixed up good, we're going to take the tray over here. You can Put it on a couple of pie plates or whatever you want. I just have these trays that I use. Scrape it out onto the tray. See, it's a lot thicker than chocolate plate, so. Okay, then once you get it all on your tray, just spread it around. I can see a little peanut butter that's not all the way mixed in. It's no big deal. No big deal at all. Just spread it out a little bit. However thick you want it or thin, I like it a little bit thinner. I'll tell you how I really like it. I like to take a spoon right now and eat some. It's really good. It's a little warm. <laughs> okay, so... That's probably about good. So then once you're done with that, get it all spread out however you want it. Just stick it in the freezer for about an hour. Take it out, cut it up however you want, and store it in the freezer or the refrigerator. I like to store it in the freezer. It gets soft pretty quick, so that's it.